Hi, I'm Daniel Zangle with PRP Labs, joined by Don Lipscomb. And we are going to be talking about the best centrifuge techniques to use for preparing PRP. There's two distinct methods that are used across the industry. One is you spin the blood one time to make your PRP, and the other method is spinning the blood two times uh, to make the PRP. And what you're going to see is with the, the double spin technique, which is very common, uh, basically they'll take the patient's blood, put it into a tube with some anticoagulant, spin it, and then uh, that will stratify the different layers of the blood. And what you're going to get is platelet-poor plasma at the top, platelet-rich plasma right below that, then you have your buffy coat layer, which is all the leukocytes, and then you have the red blood cell layer. So during the first spin, they'll get that sort of stratification. They'll take off everything except the red blood cells and then spin that again um, to get their final PRP product. So Don, can you explain how this might affect the PRPs doing one versus two spins? Absolutely. So if you just do one spin, then normally they'll consider that first um, initial uh, super natant and the buffy coat. That's kind of what they'll normally use for their PRP. Uh -huh. However, with two spins, what you're doing is you're doing a finer se separation of the different components of blood. So during your second spin, any remaining red blood cells, which usually there aren't too many, but they'll be at the very bottom. You will also get a pellet of leukocytes that, that you can choose to do with what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But this second spin really allows you to isolate the platelets and uh, just the platelet pore plasma, which during the second spin too, also more platelets come out of suspension from the plasma. Right. So you end up with overall a higher concentration of platelets at the end. Um, however, it's very important to consider um, whether or not uh, you used an anticoagulant though, because you could have had the platelets activated and then they're producing growth factors and then the growth factors will actually be at the top of the plasma just because they're right. so small. So, so we wanna prevent activation while they're in the centrifuge. Exactly. Otherwise, while you're siphoning off that platelet poor plasma, you could actually be taking out a lot of the growth factors as well. Exactly, so that's something you should remember as well. So overall, a two spin technique will really allow you to um, really know what's left over in your PRP. So it will let you produce this pure PRP that mm. we've discussed earlier. And um, it will also overall produce just a more highly concentrated um, uh, set of platelets. Right, and that's the name of the game. I mean, platelet-rich plasma by definition is a suspension that has a higher level of platelet concentration than you'd find in normal blood. And normally we're trying to get anywhere from four to eight times a lot of times it's somewhere between six to eight times mm -hmm. the platelet concentration you'll find in normal blood. So doing the second spin, what you're saying is essentially you're, you're getting more of those platelets down into exactly. the, the platelet They're rich coming plasma. out of solution. Right. Yeah. And that's what we want. So yeah, and, and you'll see the best kits on the market all use a double spin. Um, really, as far as commercial kits that are available, all the single spin kits, I will say it loud and proud, they are pretty terrible. <laughs> and there is third-party uh, lab analysis to show this. They just don't recover a lot of the platelets, and it makes sense based on what you're saying. It just hasn't had the chance to get as many of those platelets out of suspension when you're just doing one spin. Exactly. It's like sloppy science. So. Yeah, yeah, and they'll get sloppy results, but um, they are cheaper, so that's why people tend to go with those single-spin kits sometimes. All right, Don, uh, thanks for chatting with me about centrifuges once again. Uh, we've got another video coming up in just a minute about PRP preparation. So uh, hang around for a minute. We'll be right back.